And Dirk says that he didn't need permission to expose corruption because his party gave him that mandate when he was sworn in as an MP. Well, the suspended ANC MP called for President Ramaphosa to account for comments allegedly made in that leaked audio clip. Yeah, in the clip, the president could be heard speaking about the misuse of public funds for internal party leadership campaigns back in 2017. And Dirk says by the time he raised that matter, the allegations were already in the public domain. So I'm listening to this clip here, and I just yeah. couldn't believe my ears, what I'm, what I'm hearing there. Mm. That was the 20th. Parliament is closed, as Andre said. The 21st, I, I listened to this video, uh, to this audio again. And then I realized, I came to the court, I said, no. Yeah, I have no option but to write to, my, to the chairperson of, of, mm. of SCOPA to raise this issue. Say, yeah. this, is a, the, uh, this is what is out in the public, yeah. public domain. That time, that it was appearing on one media platform that have over two, uh, two million viewers, uh, 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 followers. Yeah. So it was over two million South Africans have heard this audio. Yeah. And I felt that since this thing is in the, in the public to, uh, domain and yeah. the ANC uh, time and again told us that we must expose corruption, yeah. the president himself say you must expose corruption, we must fight corruption. I don't need permission now again to say, can I go and raise this issue about yeah. thing here? Because I've been given the mandate by the ANC to say, expose corruption where, wherever yeah. it exists.